What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, YM, and I'm back with another banger, you feel me? Now, listen, a lot of people have done Guard Academy in the past, but no one is doing it like me. In this video, I'm going to get right to it. Y'all will be getting my custom updated jump shot. Y'all will be getting the best starter three cap breaker build for a meta PG. I'm telling you, this is the best build in the game, and y'all will be getting a dribble tutorial with all of my SIGs, my updated SIGs. With all that, I will be giving y'all the best shooting tips in this game to green consistently just like me. Now do me a quick favor, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, we on the road to 20K and let's get it, man. All right, y'all, we gonna get right into it. Point guard, six foot two. Now why I go six two and not five nine? I know I just dropped a five nine video, but six foot two for cap breakers. Starter three, if you hit starter three, you unlock plus five cap breakers to your build. So go six foot two, 165 pounds with a six two wingspan. And I already got the build laid out for y'all. So I ain't gotta do too much yapping, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain to y'all why I have certain stats. So I have 94 three, cause I'm gonna go ahead and put my plus five on three and get 99 three. So all these gold badges you see will eventually go to legend once I get my cap breakers on this build. So I'll have, have 99.3, 80 pass sack, 96 ball handle, and y'all are probably wondering, 96 ball handle, you get everything on Hall of Fame. Well, I want legends or handles for days on legend, which is 97 ball handle. But the thing is, in your little attribute system, you can go ahead, you can go plus one on a badge and put it to legend. And that's exactly what we're gonna do with this build. So I'm gonna have legend handles for days. I'm gonna be able to get all of my legend badges like from dead eye all the way down to shifty shooter and with this 6-2 i have challenger off ball pest 85 steel to get interceptor gold as y'all know the lane steals are insane this year so you gotta have some steel i feel like 70 or 79 with just like silver interceptor is too low so i went 85 and got that gold interceptor and obviously you gotta get speed i'm telling you speed is super super cracked on this game you got to get speed. You're going to be moving super fast. And agility is an 82 because you got to get it for shifty shooter. You need 82 agility to get legend shifty shooter. Vertical is a 60. And I'm not going to lie. I'm a 300 guard. So I really don't dunk the ball, but I still gave him 70 driving dunk. This is the best meta point guard build in the game, man. With a guard build like that, you're going to need a jump shot. So let's go ahead. Let's create the jump shot. And we're gonna go ahead and name it Academy. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little dumb. So if I spell Academy wrong, my fault, y'all. I hope I spelled it right. But let's go ahead, let's go down to that base, Cam Thomas. Okay, go ahead, find Cam Thomas on all y'all jump shot creators. You should be able to get it if you're a guard. Cam Thomas base, okay? First release, release number one, Colin Sexton. Okay, you gotta go Colin Sexton. What Colin Sexton does is speeds up your jump shot because release number two is going to slow it down. So you got to have something that speeds it up a little bit so it's not slow. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little slow and I can't find Colin Sexton. Here we go. Colin Sexton. Oscar Robertson is release number two. Okay, let's go. Oscar Robertson right here. Boom. Oscar Robertson. Now, Oscar is going to give you the timing you need to release your shot. It's going to slow it down. You're going to be able to time it perfect because it's not a super fast shot. And Colin is going to speed it up. So all you got to do is you got to make the blending right. Now, listen, for the visual cue, okay, go down or go all the way up to release and go down 20, okay? So count down from 20, which you should be able to do, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Feel me? Go ahead. Keep counting down. Feel me? Like, just count down all the way to 20. Boom. You count down to 20, you should be around halfway, okay? Simple as that. You should be around halfway. Release speed. Gotta max out the release speed, okay? And now listen, this is the most important part right here. 80% Oscar, 20% Colin. Now, if that's even a little too slow for you, go ahead, go 75 Oscar, 20 Colin. Or you could go 70 Oscar, 30 Colin. But the shot I use, the shot y'all seen in the clips, 80% Oscar, 20% Colin Sexton. I feel like it's the perfect shot. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to go ahead and save that right there. And I got chick on right now, but we're going to go ahead and put on Academy, okay? Now, listen, that gets me to my next point. After you have the build, after you have the jump shot, 
you need the dribble six, man. You got to get the dribble six. Now, Darius Garland is the best dribble style in the game. Once you hit starter four, you unlock new six. It's going to be Russell Westbrook. But we're going to get to that at a later video. So right now, Darius Garland. Signature size up, Trey Young. Best size up in the game if you're not starter four. Regular combo really doesn't matter. You can have it on pro. Now, aggressive combo, it matters. You got to get Devin Booker on, okay? You got to get Devin Booker on. Escape move, Curry, okay? Curry is one of the best escapes in the game, okay? Probably the best escape in the game. Combo moves really don't matter. I'm not going to lie. I keep it on pro. Crossover is Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole gives you a fast crossover. I'm telling you, it's tough. Put on Jordan Poole. Behind the back, it's your choice. Darius Garland or Trey Young. I like Trey Young behind the back better. Spin move. I got Trey Young also. I don't do spins, but I just put Trey Young on just to put it on. Now, hesitation. A lot of people are going to tell you Darius Garland is the best hesitation in the game. They're wrong. Kobe White is the best hesitation in the game. Why? I'm going to show y'all in the dribble tutorial. So stay tuned. Step back, Zach Levine. I feel like it's the best step back in the game. He creates the most space. You're able to crap people with it. You're able to just lose your defender. I'm telling you, it's super tough. Put that step back on and none of the rest of this matters. Now, top jumper. I'm not going to lie. I got Jordan Clarkson on, but you got to get that Kyle Lowry. That Kyle Lowry is so tough, man. I'm telling you, you're going to be able to create so much space off Kyle Lowry. I'm going to show you on this dribble tutorial. Go to shot, John Morant. I'm going to show y'all that too, okay? So stay tuned and let's get right into the dribble tutorial. I forgot the shooting tips, all right? I forgot the shooting tips. Before we get into the dribble tutorial, make sure your shot timing profile is on high risk, high reward, okay? You got to get that on. Layup timing. You're going to miss a lot of layups if you put it on high risk. So go ahead, put it on low risk, okay? Obviously, free throw timing user. Shot timing visual cue. I use release. Some guards use push. Release, in my opinion, is the best one, okay? Now, these should be on absolute, obviously. As you know, pro stick function, all that should be on absolute. Now, there's one more thing right here that you got to change. I'm not going to lie. Right here. Passive dribble hand switches. Disable that. If you have it enabled, he's going to dribble without you dribbling. You don't want that, okay? That's how people steal the ball from you, all that, okay? You don't want that. Now, this pro stick defense, you can put it on absolute, okay? Don't put it on relative. Put it on absolute. But that this is super important right here. Make sure this is disabled before y'all go see this dribble tutorial, okay? So these are the best shooting tips, in my opinion. I even gave you all a little dribble secret right here with, you know what I mean? Passive dribble switch handles, okay? So I'm not going to lie. Enough talking man let's get into this dribble tutorial all right y'all as y'all see i got the controller up on the screen i just gotta go ahead connect it and it's connected you feel me now listen we're gonna get right into this dribble tutorial i'm not gonna do too much talking for y'all okay first move i want to show y'all is this spam right here okay you gotta be able to learn this spam if you can learn this spam you're gonna be able to move behind the screen super tough because you can go one way you can go the other way it doesn't matter okay so in order to do this spam, you got to learn two moves, okay? Two moves, and you got to put those two moves together. So you hold R2, you flick the right stick, upper right or upper left, depending on what ball hand you got the ball with. So I got it in my left hand, I'm going to flick it upper right. Look at my controller, upper right. He's going to do that move, okay? Now, when he does this move, right, you let go of everything when he does this move, and you flick your right stick to the upper left. You flick it opposite of what you just flicked it. So I'm going to hold R2, I'm going to flick it upper right. I'm going to let go of everything. I'm going to flick it upper left. So watch R2 upper right. Let go of everything upper left. Okay. That's how this, the, these are the two moves you need to know. Boom. That's it. That's all you need to know. Once you learn that you're going to be able to spam it. Okay. So now instead of doing it slow, start doing it fast, start doing it fast. You feel me? You can go back and forth, back and forth. Now all you're doing, you're holding R2, looking the right stick upper right, letting go, looking it upper left. And then you're doing the same motion over and over. Boom, 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 boom. Same motion over and over again. You could do it with your right hand too. Upper left with R2. I go everything upper right, upper left, upper right. Same motion. That's how you spam front cross. Okay. I'm telling you, it's tough. Get that in y'all bag. It's super, super tough. Now, the next move, easiest move in the game. Step back. Boom. Step back. Creates a lot of space. Let's say you're in the mid range. You want to step back for three. Shoot it. Green bean telling you it's tough all you do hold r2 click the right stick down 
does a step back you could run out of it you could trade young out of it feel me just like that you could curry escape out of it just like that it's tough i'm telling you it's tough get that in y'all bag r2 click the right stick down step back okay you can obviously do it on the run too so you're running up the sideline and you want to trade young or you want to step back boom just like that i'm telling you that's going to kill your defender he's going to go sliding you're going to shoot right off of it so now the next move i want to show y'all is the trey young this move right here boom that move in order to speed boost that's the trey young okay look in order to speed boost with this trey young all you do is you flick your right stick to the upper right or upper left depending on what ball hand you got the ball with so i'm gonna flick it upper right i'm gonna hold down two and run or r2 my mouth r2 flick it upper right hold r2 sprint flick it upper left hold r2 sprint flick it upper right hold r2 sprint it's the same every time you're just flicking it then you're holding r2 okay so watch one more time flick the right stick upper right r2 then run simple now you're gonna do the same thing with the curry escape but you're gonna hold r2 first okay so you hold r2 flick it upper right run out of it hold r2 flick it upper left you just run out of it okay boom just like that you run out of it simple those are two moves you need because obviously that's how you front cross spam just like that okay simple i showed you all those two i showed you all the step back let me see what else i can show y'all oh yeah this move right here boom it doesn't look like a lot but watch you could just speed boost right out of that move or you could let it play out grab your defender brain bean you feel me i'm telling you it's tough hold on my controller disconnected there we go i ain't gonna lie hold on my controller tweaking out there we go all you do is hold r2 like it like it left or right okay it's just straight up left or right boom he does the move like your left or right boom he does the move now y'all are wondering what move that is that's kobe white hesitation okay kobe white hesitation it's this right here now y'all probably like why am that's not really tough but watch watch what i do with the kobe white hesitation though hold on let me get it right let me get it right for y'all boom y'all see that i'm telling you telling you it's tough you can spam that hesitation just like you spam the front cross spam like this okay so watch you can spam the front cross right or you can spam the hesitation boom 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 i'm telling you super super tough and obviously with this hesitation as soon as you do it let's say i do it once i could run out of it okay that's what i like boom run out of it quick stop brain bean i'm telling you you got to get that in your bag now in order to do that hesitation i go on my controller keep disconnecting it's starting to annoy me no cap listen r2 flick it to the right that's how you do it okay once now once you do that move right r2 flick it to the right you're gonna hold r2 flick it to the left but you're gonna flick it twice to the left not once so watch i'm gonna flick it and i got the ball in my left hand i'm gonna hold r2 flick it left once flick it right twice flick it left once flick it right twice that's all you're doing okay so once twice once twice and you, that's all you're doing back and forth okay so i'm gonna flick it left once r2 twice r2 left once okay i'm tough it's tough you got to get in your back so in order to start you hold r2 flick it left once now you flick it right twice flick it left twice flick it right twice flick it left twice it should be that simple it should just be it should be looking like this move basically right here boom now hold on this move and then you just do it back and forth back and forth but you're speeding it up you're not doing it slow you're not letting this animation play out right here you're just doing it like you're doing it super super fast so he does he starts doing the hezzy okay that, that's what you want to get every single time with that like right there you see me doing the hezzy i'm telling you you got to get that I'm telling you that's super super tough man so i showed you all the kobe white hezzy showed you all the front cross spam showed you all the step back what else did i not show y'all showed y'all obviously trey young showed y'all steph curry escape now behind the back you can't behind the back just standing still this year let's see watch when i try to behind the back he does this move right here okay so in order to behind the back you have to hezzy showed y'all how to hezzy okay kobe white hezzy r2 flick it left as soon as you flick it left Flick your body, flick your right stick bottom right or bottom left, depending on what hand the ball is in. So I got in my right hand. First, I'm gonna hezzy, then I'm gonna flick it bottom left behind the back. Now I got it in my left hand. First time I hezzy, I'm gonna flick it bottom right. Boom. Now, if y'all not getting what I'm saying, just look at my controller while I'm doing it, okay? Hezzy, bottom left. Hezzy, bottom right. Okay, simple while you're holding R2. Now, in order to spam the behind the back, once you flick it right once, flick it. You gotta flick it twice just how you do the hezzy okay so watch i do the hezzy i flick it once now once i flick that once i'm gonna flick it one more time and i'm gonna flick it back to the right 
Hope y'all get what I'm saying, so watch. R2, flick it left once. Flick it right twice, flick it left once. Flick it left twice, flick it right once. You're, you're flicking it twice one way and you're flicking it once the opposite way. So if I flick it left twice, I'm gonna flick it right once, okay? So watch, R2, flick it left twice, flick it left once. That's how you behind the back spam or you get that little momentum behind the back. But what you're looking for is this move right here, okay? That's that escape right there, I'm telling you it's tough. You could just spam that back and forth, back and forth. Obviously, you can go ahead, quick stop off it, all of that. Now, the last move I want to show y'all. This move right here, probably the hardest move to learn. A lot of y'all might not get it. So go ahead, go to my dribble tutorial, my advanced dribble tutorial, while I explain it in depth. But I'm going to just give y'all a little preview. The L2 cancel, okay? You got to get the L2 cancel in your bag, which is basically just doing this move and L2 canceling out of it, okay? So it's doing the curry escape and L2 canceling just like that, okay? That's how you L2 cancel. You can shoot off it. You can crab defenders off it. You do a lot off it. So in order to do this move, you hold R2. You flick the right stick up or right. You sprint. While you start sprinting, you're holding L2, okay? You're going to start holding R2 and L2 while you're running. Now, once you hold L2, you flick your right stick to the upper left and you let go of L2. So I hope y'all get what I'm saying. You R2 with curry, you run, you hold L2, you do, you flick your right stick to the upper left, going, I mean upper left, and then you let go of L2. As soon as you flick your stick, you're letting go of L2. So watch, R2, curry move, L2, do the move, let go of curry, or let go of L2, my fault, let go of L2. It's simple, just watch it back. If you didn't get it, watch it back, R2, and look at my controller and just watch it back, R2. Like your right stick upper right to sprint with curry okay boom once he does that move you start sprinting as soon as you start sprinting you're gonna start holding l2 i'm holding l2 i'm gonna do the move and he's gonna do that sometimes you're gonna get that and that's fine that's gonna be able to crab defenders too but most of the time you're looking for that move i just did right there okay it's super tough get it in y'all bag i'm not going to explain it any further because i got a whole video on it in my dribble tutorial I'm telling you just go watch that if you don't get it this way but this is the best way for me to explain and l2 cancels you hold r2 Hold L2, do the move. I'm not gonna lie, it's tough. It's tough. If y'all really not getting what I'm saying, I hope I'm explaining it good for y'all boys. Just slow the video down on YouTube. Stay at my controller. You're gonna be able to get it down. That's how I learned the move too. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Boom. I can do it every single time whenever I want. You feel me? That's it for the video though, man. Do me a quick favor. Hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Let me know if y'all enjoyed Guard Academy. I gave y'all the best build the best sigs, the best jump shot. I gave you all the best dribble tutorial on YouTube, man. That's it, man. It's your boy, Ben, your boy, YM, man. I'm out.